Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here is a three control adjustment to brighten up an image that's surprisingly applicable in other images too. So first we're going to do tones and for that we go to adjustments and curves. We want to lift blacks off so nothing's completely black because we're lifting things here but now we want to create a mid-tone boost and uh, to do all this by the way we can change the blend mode to luminosity there and that's to make sure that we're only changing the blacks and whites but not the colors so what we want is a steeper curve as possible in the middle here because these are the mid-tones and the steepness of the curve gives contrast so i'm going to pull this down here I'm not going to make the line go negative otherwise you'll literally get negative parts of the image and then pull this up here to make that middle area quite steep and that increases the contrast across the picture. Next we're going to go to HSL, use saturation and luminosity and we're just going to push the saturation up, kind of brightening the picture. And we find somewhere where we're okay what you get with colours is that some colours will show brightness more than others. So this this red here uh, is coming out quite strongly, but the blue is not as strong there. So what I'm going to go do is go to these up here, click on say that one there, but really it doesn't matter which one because I'm going to go to the picker here and pick the colour there and boost the that blue there. So push the saturation up on there. Notice with this, by the way, watch this little area up here as I increase it. And see it's turning, the blacks are going there, it's, it's going to it's like a different colour there. You can compensate for that by pulling the luminosity down and that will bring back the blacks in those areas. Okay, so that's right for that. And the last one we're going to do is to go for the shadows and highlights. One, one thing you could do here is a split toning here but in it you can have a stronger and more flexible effect by using the color balance. So here now we're just going to go to the highlights and uh, we've basically figured out what color we want the highlights to be and to make it brighter and so on let's make it a bit orange. Orange is a combination of red and yellow so we'll turn up the reds here kind of turn into the yellows a bit here and that's for the highlights. You can always go on and off to see the difference. See that's got that extra brightening like sunlight in it. And for the shadows we're going to do the opposite so we went and align that direction. So now we're going to put in some cyan and some blue. Again make a straight line there and you'll get teal into the shadows. So there we go. What we can do is click the top one, shift click the bottom one, control G to make it a group and we can say we'll call it brightening colour and we can go before and after and we could look at some areas so if that's going like that's a little bit bright there we can just turn them off to see which one it is it's the colour balance isn't it? So turn the colour balance on that goes white. So that's probably the highlights so let's go to the highlights there and say what happens if we bring this down. There we go it's up there isn't it? It's there that's better. If I bring this up a bit there it just went too far with that and there we go. What I can do with this now is I can try it out another one so I can just go control C to copy it. Go to another picture quite a different one. Control V to paste it. And there you are, that's brightened that up straight away. That one worked okay. And put in this and there, that's really brightened that up. Maybe it's just a little bit down on the opacity here. You can always go in and change the various controls if you want to. And one more, here's with just a person in. See what it tre uh, treats this because people can be a bit trickier. And that's again needs a little bit down here but that's okay you could go in and tweak that again flash you could get really really carefully 
So there we go, that's it. And thank you very much for watching.